Hi guys, it's a very important Java interview question on string compression. Okay, so basically what is happening? I am given with a string with W4S3D5G2. So basically the integer represents like how many times this character will be printed. Like W4 means W will be printed four times. So what I've done, I've run a loop. Okay, I am getting the number part like whether it's 0, 1, 2, 3 based upon the ASCII values difference. Okay, so if it lies between 0 to 9, then we will be putting in a map storing this W and the number of times it's printed in the map I am printing okay map I am storing the data after that what I'm doing I'm using string builder because you know right string builder if you are using then it uh, doesn't acquire much and more objects it doesn't create more and more objects every time you are uh, adding data into it okay so I am running a for each loop on map dot entry okay and then I'm getting the value part because based on value that many times the while loop will go okay and that many times I have to print the data as well the, I have to print the character as well so while value data not equal to zero that means four not equal to zero that many times four times I have to print so I'm appending the uh, key part to the string builder part okay and I'm decrementing the value part so value data I'm decrementing like four then three two one like four times I will be printing w okay so this loop will run and the time complexity of it will be not it will not be of n square because this is not directly dependent on each other so while loop is running based upon the value part of the map okay and this loop is for entry set okay so it will be like o of uh, value data so what will be my value part what will be my integer length based upon that the loop will run so it will be like o of n plus o of m okay so o of m means what is the entry set records how many records of entry set will be there and this is one for loop with o of n time complexity okay so you can consider like o of l plus o of m plus n okay so it will be uh, completed in o of n time complexity and uh, there, if you use traditional approach, then you have to do it with O of n square time complexity because you will do for within for. Okay. So if I execute this, so here you can see the output is coming four times W, three times S, five, five times T, and two times G. So this is very important question for interview because the interviewer may ask you to solve it in O of n time complexity. Okay. So I hope you got the clarity on it. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.